For a complete review on either the CRZ or the Panamera, keep your eyes on none other than Auto123.com. Now, the rallying heart of the Subaru WRX STI is something that truly speaks to me, probably partially because of the time I spent with the Subaru team and Pat Richard. However, Matt St. Pierre, being the inquisitive mind that he is, had some very real questions to ask about the difference between the STI and the WRX nameplate for the 2011 year. He recently had the chance to put those questions to the test. Today, Subaru has invited us to test drive two of their legendary sports cars, WRX and STI. Now, the question I'm asking myself is, is the STI worth $5,500 more than a WRX? I mean, look at them. Can you tell the difference? Before I go on, let me tell you why I'm talking to you about the 2011 Subaru Impreza WRX and STI. It's all about handling and aerodynamics. The track on the WRX is now wider. Both cars have a revised suspension, be it spring rates or bushings. The wheels are new and lighter, and in the case of the WRX, it is now clad with STI-like body panels. This car is a fantastic daily driver and, not to mention, loves the rough stuff. The differences in the handling department are immediately noticeable. In a sharp corner, the car will not lean or push as much as the previous WRX did. The real trick is that the car still remains fairly comfortable in all situations. The Boxer 4 engine is still very audible and its 265 horsepower are more than enough to have serious fun. The only issue I could find with this car are with its brakes. I'd love more bite and performance. All in all, this is a solid car that will guarantee a smile on the owner's face regardless of the driving conditions. And now the STI. The moment of truth. Is it worth $5,500 more than the WRX? Okay, so here we are aboard the STI, in its element, if you will. That's right, a racetrack. And now I really know why Subaru wants a lot more money for this car over the regular WRX. First reason, the big Brembo brakes. Big calipers, lots of pistons, and lots of stopping power, especially at the end of a straight. Yes, and there we go, there we go, all right. Beautiful, fade-free, I'm impressed. Beautiful, beautiful work. The other reason, as you can tell right now, is the car actually pulls a hell of a lot more G's. 0.93 to be exact. Because of the revised spring rates, bigger sway bars, this car is the best handling STI I've ever experienced. And you gotta ask the question, is it as good as the Evo? Because in my opinion, it was a more track-ready car out of the box than the STI was. Well, the answer is the new STI is right up there. It's got nothing to envy as far as the EVO's capabilities. Sadly, I have to leave these two babies behind, but I promise you, and you, that we will meet again very, very soon for a longer period of time and hopefully maybe on a track again. Oh, please, 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 everyone, please, please.